a Canelo win. Mmm. It's more getting spicy. It's getting spicy here, chat. It's getting spicy. How is Bevo going to the Hall of Fame off a of Canelo win with it? That, that was for his belts. There was no four belts on that. So you're mistaking on that one too. Mm. No, he, no, he, he said he said he said he's not. He said he's not going to the Hall of Fame off of that just win. No, 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 no. He said off of his belts. Huh? Oh, I, I thought you, I thought you said he's not going off. I know exactly what he said. What, what did you, what'd you say, right Ty? There. You, he said Bivol's not going off of the Canelo win alone. That's why he said that Laura wouldn't go off the Canelo win alone. Yeah, I think you might have to put the blunt down, bro. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> oh, he, oh, he on that blunt again? Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah, it's about to be a long night, y'all. <laughs> and he would have fought um, Saul at a better time. You said time? Oh, uh, Edwin just froze. No, he got that Wawa connection. Oh, Lord. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> We're going to start off with Edwin this time. I want to know what would it have been for Arislandi Lara's career? If he would have got the decision over Canelo. Oh, uh, superstar status right there and in an immediate rematch. And mm. you're going to get paid. Uh, okay. You know, because that fight came with a rematch on Canelo's side. Mm. And then now at negotiation tables, you stand to have leverage because you have the belt. You can pretty much set your price, take it or leave it type deal. And, and let's see... You know, he's going to take it if he wants them belts back. You know, um, uh, the better question would have been like, what if Lara would have got into the U.S. younger? Mm. And a lot of these guys were over there held prisoner and captured, and they released them after they squeezed all their youth in them. No, did they? And now, now they let them go to United States. You know? Right. Um, what, what if he was a younger version of himself? And he would have fought um, Saul at a better time. You said time? Uh, Edwin just froze. No, he got that Wawa connection. Oh, Lord. That night, if not, he beat him on that night, in my opinion. I'm not going to, Edwin, you got to repeat that because it, it froze, man. So I'm, we didn't catch anything oh, you did? said. Yeah, it froze. Um, uh, I was rocking too. I should get like 30 points. That's crazy. But, uh, anyway, uh, 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 yo, so, so, no, so, no, what I'm saying is, um, what if, since we're talking what if, what if he would have came over here a lot younger and fought Saul Canelo Alvarez in a better time? What if he would have not been fighting in the amateur style over there in that country and got a better pro start? and adapted better to the pros. And with all that being said, on that night of the fight, if you ask me, I believe he won the Boring. fight. I think so too. You know? I so, agree. So, like, like, um, you know, like Ty sitting back there hearing me cook, trying to rush me along, and because I'm smoking him, <laughs> um, I know that he had that fight in the back. You know what I mean? Um, Laura, but look, um, it would have changed his life in ways. It would have cemented your name in the Hall of Fame. It would have put you in a category among men, a boxing legend. And that's what I could say to that. That was a good one, though. I like that. All right, go ahead, Ty. Let me start off with this. Edwin kind of took it out of the parameters of the question stated. Mm, but that's true. Lower had beat Canelo. The guy gave it his point of that. I let it slide, but he pointed. He caught it. That was a good catch. Yeah. It would have changed <laughs> the whole... face. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go now. My bad. Time Had Laura on. won against Canelo, it would have changed the whole atmosphere of how we view Cuban boxers. Mmm. Laura would have put Cuba on the map. And as for himself, him being a PBC guy. He would have got a lot of the fights that he should have got. Mm. He would have been in position for GGG to actually fight him. Hey. And not have an out to get around him. Hey. People, he a lot of people don't fought, know that. 
He would have fought both of the Charlos. Mm. Because he wouldn't have to worry about the trainer change. It's a lot of things that could have happened for Laura had he won against Canelo. Mm. It's kind of bad he got shelved after that. But we talking about if he won. That's true. That's true. That's good points, man. Good points. All right, Edwin, what say you? Edwin, you have the lead right now by one point, eight to seven, man. You got, you got to do good. The fact that, the fact that um, Ty likes to say things right, but mm -hmm. not come up with a great point. Mm -hmm. Should have said that. Shots fired for him was at least go to the Hall of Fame. What it would have really did to him as a boxer, not anything that he named off that was personal. When mm. I'm talking about his legendary status. And mm. what I would have said with four belts, you walk into the Hall of Fame with that. That's a credential. What it did what it did for him in his career, it wasn't a matter of him winning other fights. It was Talk a Canelo him. fight. And that's a rematch. Mm. And going back at the negotiation table, I think he had all four belts. Like I said, had he won. That was the question. Talk to him. And, he, and at the time, if the, the question was, had he won, what would he have done for his career? So but had he won means he would have all four belts going back into negotiation. That's what that means. But you lack that point. Mm. You see, these are things that it actually would have did for him. That's what I got to say about that. Mm. I rest my case. Rest his case. I, I, I love the assertiveness right there, man. I got to give him another point. Go ahead, Ty. I see you shaking your head. That. No, man. Go ahead. Had Laura beat Canelo, that was not an undisputed fight. Mm. But I like I like the favor you put out there. Him beating him two times does not put him in the Hall of Fame. But I can tell you how he does get there. <laughs> beating all the other guys at 54. I'm and sorry, bro. Edward making me laugh, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Edward making me I'm sorry. Go ahead, Tom. Listen, bro. <laughs> the world is listening. Oh, listen, go ahead, Ty. I'm sorry, bro. I was thinking where the four bells came from, but I'll let, I'll let this slide. Go ahead, bro. I'm not part of the debate. I'm counting the ringside magazine. I'm counting the ringside I magazine. I understand this is a what if scenario, but you got to be a little logical with it. Mm. Him beating Canelo does not equal undisputed. Huh. Him beating Canelo twice does not equal Hall of Fame status. Mm. This is just a fact. It puts him on a roll to it, but. You won't go to the Hall of Fame off of getting the W off of Canelo. Mm. I don't see B-Ball going, of, going to the Hall of Fame right away off of a Canelo win. Mm. It's Man, more spicy. It's getting spicy here, chat. It's getting spicy. How is B-Ball going to the Hall of Fame off of Canelo win? When it, uh, that was for his belts. There was no four belts on that. So you're mistaking on that one, too. Mm. No, he, no, he, he said, he said, he said he's point. not. He said he's not going to the Hall of Fame off of that just win. No, no, no. No, no. He said off of his belts. Oh, I thought, you, I thought you said he's not going off. I know he's, exactly what he said. What, what, did, you, what did you say, right Ty? You, he said Bivol's not going off of the Canelo win alone. That's why he said that Laura wouldn't go off the Canelo win alone. Yeah, I think you might have to put the blunt down, bro. <laughs> oh, he, oh, he on that blunt again? Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah, it's about to be a long night, y'all. <laughs> if, you, if you holding up IBO, you don't need that to be undisputed. That's probably mm. the reason why you thought Laura was going. Mm. Let me help you out. That belt wasn't even on the line. The Brandon Adams fight is uh is uh junior junior middleweight uh smoochie 154. Uh, unless he moved to 160, I'm not sure, but he used to be at 154. All right, that was a good round, man. I thought Edward had some strong points. I thought Ty came back and bust his head top with the corrections, but I think it was a tie, man. It was uh 14 to 14, so Edwin gets a point, Ty gets a point. Right now ties up 2-1. I don't like doing ties, but that that was a uh I don't like doing draws, but that was a draw right there, man. Y'all both had some good points. That would make me laugh, right? Bro, right. Around. We need to fact check this in this little <laughs> Bro, I can't. I, I can't help. I be old title. You tried to find the it was what is, but he didn't say, Yo, come on here and start. Yeah. He got it. You want to come at the IBO like that? Huh? We'll count the oh. IBO, baby. Do you oh, need that man. for this all right, since it was a draw, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick the uh, I'm gonna pick the next theme, man. So this theme right here. Can I pick? Can I pick it? Can I pick it? Nah, nah, nah. Cause you, it was a draw, bro. You gotta win, bro. You gotta win this one to get the pick, bro. It was a draw. The moderator got to pick, man. You know what I'm saying? So this Dude, one is gonna be what if? <laughs> Ain't no special treatment for being a guest, no sir. This the this boxing, baby. So the theme we're gonna stick with is what if. 
What if Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia roles were reversed? Start off with it, Edwin. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.